Hey everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com and today we're going to give you an unboxing of the Barazza Virtuoso Plus Coffee Grinder. So let's just dive right in, let's unbox this grinder. I actually haven't unboxed this yet, so this is the first time. And let's just see what we've got. Instructions. This is a heavy coffee grinder, by the way. All right, so first we've got our bean hopper, the lid. Here's our grinder. This is the most fun part of our channel is when you get to see Brian somehow get through a lot of packaging in a, in a box. All right, here we go. Here is the Virtuoso Plus grinder. Okay, so this is our grinder. This knob on the front, which also is clicky. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's real clicky. And it also feels like it just spins into infinity, but it does kind of click when it turns. So it feels smooth. I'm going to assume that all of the controls are done through there. So this is, of course, where instructions can come in useful. <laughs> so looking at the instructions for how to do the initial setup, and this is pretty common with most grinders, we need a silicone gasket, which... Where's the gasket? <laughs> Let's see. What? Hey! There you go. So there's a cleaning brush. These are hidden in the... Uh, in the grinds receptacle right here. There's our gasket. So you need that. That's pretty important. So now we're going to place the gasket and we want to place this carefully here. But you want to get this nice and snug around the burrs. So just kind of popped it there. There's a couple of little uh, notches which you can line up on the burrs. So that should basically set us up. So that gasket is going to keep the grinds um, the ground, should I say, from getting everywhere. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our bean hopper on top. So if you're not familiar with the way that the Barazza line of grinders work, you just kinda of wanna turn your, your bean hopper to select your grind type. And again, there's, there's a diagram which will show you some more information about that on the instructions, and you can also get that from the instruction manual for the device as well. And one quick note is that the white line that is on the bean hopper is actually what you're going to do use to line up on the small diagram that's around the ring right here, just around the burrs. And this is how you're going to choose your grind type. But once you have your bean hopper on there, you probably don't have to take it off too frequently unless you're cleaning it, which is something you're going to want to do. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in. Okay, so I powered it on. First impressions, this is cool. There's a light where you're... Uh, where your, your actual uh, ground coffee comes out. So that's kind of useful. It's a little rough to get this back in. There we go. And it's probably just tight, which is okay. That means you're not gonna get coffee grounds flying everywhere, but it's a little, little tight to get in there. Not too big a deal, but a little tight. Second impression, I really like the uh, backlit LCD screen right here. And this button feels, or rather this knob feels really smooth which is kind of cool. So I'm turning the knob and looking at instructions here, what this is telling me is that the grind time is adjusted by rotating this dial. And clockwise rotation will increase it in one second increments. And then it goes back in tenth of a second increments, yeah, count, uh, if we're going counterclockwise. So it says to rotate clockwise until just above the desired grind time and then you can roll back to kind of get it perfect. Um, and then you can uh -huh, hit the knob, press the knob inwards in order to start the grind process. Now you can also manually grind by pressing the dial in for three seconds, that enters pulse mode, then you can press and hold it to grind and you can exit that by turning the knob. For all the build quality feels great. Again, this is real, it's heavy. Uh, lots of brushed aluminum, which is nice. Not, you know, not a ton of it, but the plastic exterior that you've got feels good. Grind, the bean topper sits really nicely inside of the, uh, the burr section. So it's, it feels really smooth and I'm definitely liking this. So this is interesting because Again, if I'm comparing to the older Virtuoso, which I have right here, this one had a dial. And that dial is what you would use to select your grind time. And you can't really be like too specific about it. You just kind of turn it and figure it was going to get to a certain point and that was okay. But here I could actually choose, okay, well, you know, I want to grind for 
exactly 17 seconds or something like that. So that's pretty cool. I got to say, I'm digging that. And I like the fact that it's got lots of light going on. There's not a whole lot of other features that I would necessarily need to go into here, except, of course, to grind some coffee with it. So if you want to see me grind with the Virtuoso Plus, you're going to want to check out our some of our next videos. This is just a quick unboxing, show you what's in the box with the Barazza Virtuoso Plus. Again, pretty straightforward. It was easy for me to put together. I think the biggest gotcha there is know where that, that black gasket is. Get it in there very carefully. Put that bean hopper on. So looks like it's going to be pretty easy to use, but make sure to check out our next videos to show you exactly how you can use the Barazza Virtuoso Plus. So there you go, guys. I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care. So did you like that video? If so, go ahead and give us a like. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel. It's okay, I'll wait. Come on. It's all right. Awesome, great, thank you so much. And now for a great coffee quote. Remember that a yawn is actually just a silent scream for coffee. <laughs>